Hello, Bob. Hello. I'm standing here with your photograph, one of my favorite rock and roll pictures of all time. Now, again, a question about it. Uh, when you shot the Ramon film in the New York Underground, uh, is it a documentary picture or uh, is it a photo shoot? I was working for a magazine called Rock Scene Magazine. In Rock Scene Magazine, we did a whole story, photo story. So this was the day in the life with the Ramones. So I started out in Forest Hills where they used to hang out. And we took pictures of them walking up the street and then took pictures in the subway station, getting on the train and then taking the train to CBTV. And then there's the other picture of them coming up out of the subway and then the picture of them standing in front of the CBTV club. That was all one day, all for a rock scene magazine. Okay, and there's one detail in the picture which I personally love too. It's the guitar, the most right guitar in the plastic bag. Yeah, well, they, didn't, they couldn't afford a guitar case. So they kept their, uh, I mean, Dee Dee couldn't even afford a plastic bag. Oh, he yeah. couldn't afford a plastic bag. Yeah, he, yeah. he bought the, uh, that used to buy the format of What was important was having the guitar. The so bag didn't count. So that authentic, they have a, it's not for the photo. No, okay. no, that was an afternoon. They, they were, you know, hanging out and then went to a job like that. Okay, cool. And my what, last question of the three question is, did you ever talk to John Lennon about the remotes? Did they no. have like the same influences? No. no. No, I mentioned the CBGBs and going downtown and he said that he had already been to the um, uh, the Star Club in Berlin and he didn't need to go to CBGBs. Okay. He knew what it was like. Thank you, Bob, thank for you. this great picture and all the other ones. And thanks for this uh, short interview. Thank you.